I want to do YT this year, girl. QPD coming at y'all. I want to send live and direct. And please excuse the way I look. I'm not feeling that well. I feel like I'm coming down with cold. And I'm trying to knock it out of work before I get any worse. So that's why I sound a little scratchy. Not the same. But anyway, I have a haul for y'all. I want to get this haul out of my room. I have to clean up because I have an inspection. So yeah. I gotta clean it. Anyway, um, first thing I want to show y'all, I'm kind of pissed because, okay, I got, I, I found out this company, I have a review for y'all too, so I'm going to do a review for this product, it's called Beauty Factories, and you can get, they're coming little packages like this, but however, when I got my package, It's in the grab. It's in the, I put in a little bag it was everywhere. You see all that red stuff, pink stuff? All that shit went everywhere. So you can order individual shadows. They're reasonable. They're like a dollar sixty something if you remember. Um, and the palettes are like I don't know, I'm gonna say between five and eight dollars. So I ordered fifteen shadows. It's what it looks like says beauty beauties factories and it's bf hyphen fact uh beauty dot com and it's based out of hong kong first of all how they packed this shit it was um in one of those envelopes and it was bubble wrapped and it had the palette sitting in um it had the palette sitting in you know some styrofoam they but he said the way I picked you know, the choice I picked to have it already pre-put in here. They're saying that it is the way I picked it, it was to come like this. So, I got these 15 different shades. And this one was broken. But I was able to mend that one back together with some alcohol. And this is the one that I could not save. That... On the website, they have names and numbers, but on the back of it, it's just numbers. So, tutorial purposes, I will have to give a number, and you can just, you know, figure it out from there if you're interested. But I'll give a full review on the pigmentation, swatches, and all that in another video, and I could probably talk a little bit better. And that's what gave me a free gift. So, whoop did you fucking do The company told me that I needed to take pictures of it, so, um they can determine what they're going to do about getting my money back. I just need my money back or just give me another shadow because that's like half ass, you know? Anyway, I spent a total of $33. The shipping was not bad at all. It took about the pricing. Shipping time took about two and a half weeks. I ordered did this on the 24th, uh, no, 23rd of last month, and I got it. It shipped out the next day, and I got it today. Um, So, these are the colors. You see here, and this is just like some styrofoam. This is not magnetic, it just hold it in place by styrofoam. But a quick swatch, and they seem pretty pigmented. You know, so this is Beauty's Factories. I probably will order from them again, but next time I'll make sure I read the fine print a little bit better. And it just swatches on the hands. So, I mean, I am feeling them. I'm just not feeling that. Because what they got at me was like, you picked this one. And I mean, who does this? Sends it in the fucking, um, already placed. And then you package it in the fucking envelope. Not in a damn box. An envelope. And that, you guys. Um. But however, like I said, I spent total $33.00. On that, um, for all 15 shadows plus the palette, so that's significantly good, you know. 15, and they're about the same size as the Makeup Forever one, so yeah. Um, so I had to pick up a prescription for the bag, and I just picked up one nail polish from Walgreens, and I thought it was pretty. It's called I Miss You, and I was looking for the palettes for a while, but could not find them. Um, let me just get down to the online orders. So I placed the order with Sephora in hopes to get 
got 20% off with, um, you know, for friends and family. But, however, the cute, the, if you went to Tim Taya, that shit didn't work. So, whatever, it's, I still wanted what I wanted and I got it now. I got some samples, Amazing Eye Anti-Aging anti Face Primer, um, Macadamian Heat Protection Gloss from Carol's Daughter, and Kate Somerville's Skin Expert, um, some energizing treatment, so, whatever. But the star of the show is this. This is the NARS Damari palette. Looks like this on that. And you get six shadow, six blushes for 60, 65 dollars. Yeah, 65 dollars. And it comes in this velvet, crushed velvet casing. And looks like that. And you do get a big mirror, as y'all see. And then here are all the beautiful, beautiful shades. Now, however, I do have one of these already, so... It's okay, but I'll name them. This one is called Hungry Heart Duo Casino. This is um, Orgasm. No. Yeah, Orgasm. Super Orgasm, Desire, and Sin. Yeah. So, I saw this, I don't know how I ended up running across this, but I had to have this, like, for real, for real. So, just a quick swatch, that's Desire. Y'all all know what um, Orgasm looks like, and Casino is more of a contour for me. And this one's kind of like um, Arbitrage, but maybe a little bit less. It's a little bit more shimmery, and you can't even see um, that casino on my hand, but casino would be here if you could see it, and this is Hungry Heart and Desire. Yeah, so $65, Let the representative, all right, so Lady Luck must have been on my side, because I've been looking for the bomb stuff, y'all know, last haul I did, I could, I found um, that... It said Betty, Betty Lou Luminizer, but it was really the Mary Lou Luminizer. So, I've been on my hunt, and I've been to several Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So, first thing I got from the bomb is, um, well, first I'm going to show you this Tinted Moisturizer. And it's called Bomb Shelter. It's an SPF 18. Looks like this in the bottle. Retailed for... Marshalls for twelve ninety nine. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't have autofocus, so yeah. And it just looks like this in the bottle. And this is in a medium, by the way, for those. Um, that's what it would look like. Huh? And I, you know what? To be the only one, I thought this was a perfect match, you guys. And of course, my hand is darker, but blends in really well really good too okay and so next thing i got from marshall's i got the bomb and the beautiful and this one retail for 20 no this one retail for 19.99 and i'm mad because tj maxx had it for seven for 16.99 of course you get the mirror and you get about, I think it's 16 shadows. So if you have the Muppets or you have this, you know what this looks like. If anyone wants swatches, you know what to do. You get this bomb brush here, which I probably won't be using. And you also get these, um, you can use them as cheek stains and as uh, blushes. Now what I suggest you do, with, when you buy stuff from Target, I mean Marshalls and stuff like that, get you some alcohol and spray it down or wipe it down first because... Them MFs in there are nasty. 
And last thing I need is some damn pink eye. All right, you guys. So this was like totally by fluke, but this one I got a uh, frat boy and down boy blush. I need some eyeshadow or blushes, and this one was twenty dollars. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, ooh, my head is killing me. They come in the duo pack because they sold it a set, and then you can also they also separate them. Um, by this, this is what um, Down Boy looks like. A really pretty mauvey kind of pink, more more pink than mauve though. Okay. And then for the um, Sprat Boy, this is more of a coral pink blush. More coral than pink. It's that one right there. So I was excited and ecstatic that I found these. Because I mean, I had went to two cities. And if y'all from the Bay Area, y'all went to Concord, Pleasant Hill. And I looked up. And when I went to my local one, they had um, just this. But I, I did some... I'm driving around. Well, not just for this, but a few other places too. And then, um, I picked up this bomb lip, lip pretty, pretty fast lip set. This one was for $24.99. This is going to be a two-parter, just so y'all know. So this is pretty. Okay, this one was called Swift, and it looks like that. This next one was called uh, Lickety Split. And this one's pretty, too. It's almost like a pink, pink, more opaque version of the first one. And then this third one is called Speedy. A pretty mauvey pink color, really pretty. And the fourth color is called Chop Chop. It's the color here, really, really pretty. I mean, to be the bomb, you know, I never used no bomb stuff in my life. This is the first time, so I'm already liking it. I'm feeling it. And this last color, oh, that's pretty. It's called Supersonic. Supersonic. Uh, remember that song, y'all? All right. So for $24, that ain't bad. I ain't put it in here right now. Huh? All right, and so... I also picked up a replacement of this one. I have this one, but it was broke, remember? And I got the Betty Lou Luminizer. This is the Luminizer. This is the bronzer. So, I have both now. I also want to pick up um, this brush here. This brush was 10 bucks. I thought it was pretty because of the... This was an authentic blown, uh, blown glass brush. And it looks like this. And it, it's still soft here. I kind of did like this. It felt a tiny bit scratchy, but not not enough that was just too unbearable. So, and that was $10. See? And then I got this little Kabuki brush. It was 6 bucks, And it was by Gotta Be Urban. And like I need any more kabuki brushes, but I thought this one was so cute, you guys. Had a little leopard print. Really soft, really, really soft, you guys. Now that other one, I'm gonna lie, it kind of had a funny smell to it, so I haven't washed it yet. Alright, so on to part two, you guys. <laughs> 